Hello everyone. Welcome to computer class. Today we are going to discuss unit 3 information and communication technology skill. Now in that we are going to see the first very first uh, introduction. Now what do you mean by ICT? So ICT stands for information and communication technology that we all uh, people know very well. Right? It includes a diverse set of technology technological tools and resources used in a uh, used to communicate create uh, disseminate store manage information ICT includes computer the internet broadcasting technology radio and television and tech uh, telephony in digital technology transistors and information into binary format a binary format means 0 and 1 and we already know that a computer can only understand 0 and 1 where each bit is representative of two distinct amplitudes where the analog technology information translated into electronic pulse and a variety of am uh, amplitude. UNESCO defined informatic as a science dealing with a design. Now in a ICT, we are using ICT every day. Uh, directly or indirectly at our home or workplace ICT tools enable us anytime anywhere access of information and resources the variety of or various ICT tools that are used including our computer majorly we are using computers and smartphone right so these are the uh, what you can say ICT tools rather than that we can see uh, TV radio social networking this also uh, including that one ICT skill help us to communicate, run our businesses and stay connected with our family and friend. Hence, every person need to acquire ICT skills. So, we are going to see in this chapter what are the ICT, what are the ICT skills as well. Right. So, this is the introduction of ICT. Now let's see the very first session and that is introduction to ICT. Information can be recorded or stored in a many ways. It can be handwritten on a paper, typed using a typewriter or computer and so on. When information is stored and recorded on an electronic device, it takes on a digital form. ICT device are table, smartphone and laptop as we can see above figures. Here it is right okay so it can be a digital ICT devices are tablet smartphone laptops as a student you should be able to identify and understand the functions of the main component of typical information and or a communication system as well the functions the variety computer peripheral it will help you to effectively utilize the knowledge and skills of ICT the basic IT skills that you need are knowing how to operate computers or knowing how to browse the internet for collecting, storing and dismantling information. In this scenario, we are not just taking computers but as well as the smartphone and some few smart devices as well, right? Because nowadays our technology becomes so fast, so we have to include that also. Now next is ICT at workplace. We can see a computer, smartphone in a nearby every offices. You can see that uh, during this COVID period, we are doing online classes and with that teachers also are uh, taking their classes, right? So ICT has become part of our workplace in all sectors of economy. You can see today there is no uh, any sectors that exclude the ICT or computers or we can say without computers, there is a no uh, workplace uh, are around us, right? Right from carrying out money transactions through the online banking system to development of textbook and research paper in education institute. At workplace we use different computer software and applications to complete tasks like making document, calculations, tab uh, tables, graphic etc. Now in a computers, uh, probably we are talking about the computers. So we have a different kind of softwares to utilize our work. For example, if you want to prepare a document, then you use a, probably a writer or a document preparation software. In the same way, if you have a, some calculation works, then you can use a spreadsheet, uh, Excel, Impress or that kind of. And if you want to browse the internet, then you can use the uh, browser softwares. We can also use application to do everyday work 
like buying things, booking train or bus tickets, internet banking and making online payments, modern ICT employees, a variety of media form which includes text, graphic, animation, audio, video. And one more thing I want to add over here, booking train bus and internet banking. Nowadays we are using QR code uh, based payment system. So we people are aware about this, right? Ki what are the uses of ICT? It also involves creating, uh, curating, managing images and document, gathering and processing data and presenting them, working with audio and video tools. Nowadays, uh, now, right now you are uh, learning from this video, so I am also using this ICT at my workplace. Right now, you are also learning from audio video tools to create media rich communications. We are creating such a kind of a uh, communications therefore employees are expected uh, to possess sound knowledge of all this work independently on various softwares and computer so that's why we require such kind of special little bit special uh, educations or knowledge for this ICT now ICT at home these days most of people are using television smart TVs are there for entertainment phone smartphone are there new devices such as smartphone smartphone with internet connections are now being used to stay connected with family friends we are uh, we are attending our online classes through this uh, smartphone we are using facebook instagram twitter so we came to know about what what the surrounding are doing or your friends or uh, family are doing we use computers and mobile phone for uh, talking each other sending and receiving information watching videos news listening to music playing games you can visit the following sites and know about the ICT activity which are being carried out in various sectors. So these are the first session. I hope fully, uh, I hope you people get uh, will get or came to know. We just begin now second <coughs> session. Alright, so let's start second session and that is uh, ICT tools. In tool we are going to see a smartphone and tablets. Smartphone and tablets are uh, becoming more and more important as most people carrying them around. So it become more important in ICT. Use them in daily activities like sending emails and messages, share pictures etc. Without this most people can work with other and spreading of an idea nowadays you people might be often uh, listen that so many of work might be done on a phone only or a whatsapp only that you have to send me this data or you have to send me this data so many instructions we are going uh, giving you on a uh, whatsapp group this message also you are get, uh, getting in a whatsapp group or link of this video you will get in a whatsapp group right so all the work we are doing on a tablet computer or smartphone Right. The spreading of an idea or news occurring somewhere uh, somewhere in the world is now possible through social sites on the internet. As long as the one person is able to connect to the internet and express their view about the situation or so simply about an idea, then information that individual want to share will get. Apne dekha hoga that uh, so many things are going to be a uh, viral, right? So that because of a uh, internet and IC2, ICT. Next is smartphone. Mobile phone are ICT tools for talking to people but smartphone are more advanced with simple mobile phone you can only make phone calls and receive calls they are talking about a feature call a feature phone right uh, simple phone that came might be you have seen uh, or might be you have at your home which only uh, capable for doing a call right but smartphone what a smartphone is so let's see a smartphone is uh, such a capable device that is uh, used for browsing a web, sending email, making video calls, playing game, listening music, watching movies and much more. This is called a smartphone. Smartphone also called mobile phone as you can use them anywhere at home, in an office or a road. They do not need a uh, telephone line. They use wireless mobile network to make a call to connect the internet some of the popular operating system for smartphone are android os apple ios and windows mobile now please uh, please remember those name might be you people already learn uh, os stands for operating system right 
windows mobile is not uh, very much popular it is quite lesser popular right uh, but dominance are these two android and apple ios next is tablet tablet is a similar kind of a mobile only we have we know that uh, it is the middle devices means what i mean to say is that it is quite bigger than mobile and smaller than a computer right uh, it can it can do same thing as a comp uh, mobile it has uh, so many functionalities like mobile as well as the computer or a uh, laptop so i don't think so you, you people <coughs> want to learn or want to know about the tablet because you people already know that next is tv and radio tv are being used to ict tools since long time radio is used to broadcast audio while tv is used to broadcast audio visual information to many people yes by tv we, you can see uh, so many uh, news channel uh, tv serials movies informatic uh, serials yeah or a series right in the same way on a radio you can uh heard so many news or informations right so <clears throat> on a radio you can heard news song stories spread uh, speeches cricket commentary etc etc while tv is used to watching movie news weather forecast song cartoons education lectures and many more applications or app yes this figure might be striked you or what is this you people might be know better than me so applications or app is available in this stores now what is, what do you mean by stores store is a place where you can go and buy or download some of the app app means applications which is running on a particular operating system uh, just before we had learned uh, operating system which is android and uh, uh, for android google play is the play store and iphone for iphone or ios this app store is uh, called a stores right now <clears throat> on that you can buy purchase or buy or you can free download it uh, many apps are available for free to download many apps are available for buy and download buy means you have to purchase it and so many applications might be available for rented as well right okay so commonly found applications are some of the default in app install in all smartphone so what what they mean to tell us that if you buy a new phone that some of the applications are already pre installed so in that you can find a phone applications which help, uh, app is used to make a call it is also store a name and uh, phone numbers of a people camera by which you can take a photograph calendars mail right so these all are available then photos which can uh, shows your all store photos clock which shows you time and uh, set you can set alarm or timer map message web browser music google play store apple app store these all are, you people can see while you purchasing a new uh, smartphone on a tablet right here you we can uh, see the differentiate between smartphone and a tablet so main uses what are the main uses of smartphone as a phone but some additional features such as a camera majority smartphone run on app and uh, apple ios or google android but others are windows phone or a blackberry os now these two already dead right all right ye zyada tar hai nahi there is no such a companies who Uh, working on this or who's launching their devices on this operating system while tablet a wireless portable personal computer is touch screen interface which makes more useful than network or uh, notebook computers notebook computers means a laptop computer some tab uh, tablets use android os other use ios and windows os yes here are two are dominant uh, android os and uh, ios but also windows os or windows 10 or we can see a windows 11 in a tablet as well right screen size you know smartphone it is a smaller while in a tablet it's become bigger uh, uh, you can see a movie or picture in a both but a screen wise you can uh, see the difference battery life you need to charge phone more often because it has a smaller capacity of uh, battery capacity while 
tablet has a little bit large and storage vice versa right okay so that's it in uh, in this session all right now let's start session 3 and that is ict tools smartphone and tablets part 2 so in this session we are going to little bit go in deep about mobile devices as well as the tablet so let's see mobile device layout so since i think so last 10 years the mobile device design is not going to change you can see or you can observe that might be that size it's become like it's become smaller or wider or longer but their design wise they are always uh, remain the same just expect this flip phone nowadays are coming so in that you can see a power button screen back button microphone menu button power button help to start and shut down your mobile device we people know these things all so we are going to move little bit faster screen which you uh, which we perform functions by touching our fingers back button usually take back or a previous screen microphone is presented at bottom which help us to uh, record or whatever we can talk speak menu button it, uh, it is used to show the all the options available home button this bring you back the home screen from where you are in a, your phone uh, earpiece this help you to listen your voice call right this is the, this is the image where you can see uh, volume buttons by which you can increase or decrease your phone uh, phone volume basic features of mobile devices so what are the basic features nowadays you people can see bluetooth by which you can send uh, data within a 30 feet right chargeable battery which you can charge uh, again and again wi-fi with help of that you can connect with the internet touch screen uh, the output device of mobile or touch screen this help you to run app type anything and many more things camera smartphone and tablets have front and back camera to capture nowadays you can see there are three or four camera at the back or two one or two camera in the front so <coughs> that might be in a camera part to improve your image quality clock so in every smartphone you will see the clock cellular network connectivity this icon you have seen that so so many of you are complaining in online class so my network is not proper there and yes last one is gps and what is the full form of gps global positioning system what is the full form of gps global positioning system it is a navigation direction system help you to navigate find directions map in specific locations we had already uh, used or might be so many of you have used this what google map right so it is based on a gps so home screen of a mobile device next is home screen of a mobile device which home screen now what do you mean by home screen the first screen of mobile device once you unlock right uh, many of you might be seeing ki so i have a pin or i have a password or i have a, some pattern so after unlocking you will see this kind of a image this is actually a apple devices uh, screen so here you can see uh, there are basic gestures used to operate those phone or smartphone so what are the gestures so very first is tap tap means just touch on a screen with your finger once or click tap and hold this is a similar to right click your mouse tap uh, you once you tap and hold so it will what uh, it will showing you more options so that's why it's, they are telling that right clicking your mouse drag drag we people know right uh, we are moving or hold that particular icon or whatever and then we have to scroll down or down our fingers or up our fingers swipe to slide fingers right left up down of a screen like a turning a page double tap to tap <coughs> activated some of the things right uh, so in a, some case we are doing a zoom or pinch in we are doing that one 
to bring thumbs or fingers together in the screen and zoom in so this all things uh, in this session let's see our next one all right now next session is parts of computer and peripheral now we know that computer have uh, several parts and we already learn in uh, lower classes as well right so let's see again so computer basically have a uh, 3d kind of uh, devices which which is we can say uh, input unit central processing unit or output unit right different computers have a different way in which the input processing and output unit are connected in a desktop you can see uh, individual parts are uh, outside visible while in a laptop you can see all the parts are connected or within a one uh, you can say in one devices right so let's see in cpu you can find there are so many uh, other components are there or you can say part are there uh, we can uh, divide in three parts control unit arithmetic and logical unit which is known as an alu and mu which is stands for memory unit so you have to remember those full form arithmetic logical unit alu stands for arithmetic logical unit mu stands for memory unit so what are the purpose of that so control unit normally act as a uh, receptionist and manager of company it receive each and every instructions from user and coordinate between a part of, of parts to perform a various task means control you need decide what to do where to do how to do which memory is required what part is to be executed whatever the thing right all the things are decided by control unit next is arithmetic and logical unit so these arithmetic and logical unit act as an accountant of company which perform all mathematical and legal calculations so all your calculation is done using this arithmetic logical unit so we know that computer can only understand zero and one so all the signals are coming in 0 and 1 so it need to be so much calculations out there so that handle by ALU and last memory unit so as per the name memory unit act as a temporary uh, store of com company where all amount of data is being stored uh, so all the our data is stored in a memory unit right so let's learn one by one so very first is input device so input device is used to enter information into the computer keyboard is the input device used to enter later numbers and control functions microphone is an input device that connected computers to record a sound with the help of keyboard you can type a text so that's why it is also known as an input device or input device which help us to give a data to computer so that data might be in a text format audio format right image format so if you are going to give you instructions if you want to give instructions in a text format so normally we are typing with the help of keyboard so that is one of our input device if you want to give instructions with a pointing device so mouse is also one of them uh, input device if you want to scan something so scanner is also one of the input device webcam so with the help of image that also input device right so there are the input devices next is output device now what is the output where the data shows or you can get the data output device bring information from the computers normally the one of the biggest is monitor where we can see all the things happening right so this is called or where we get the data so all the data as, as we uh, press some of the key or enter some of the data so we can see or it will be visible on a monitor so we can say this is on a output right another output device is a speaker and another one is a printer right so these all are called a output device here you can see a uh, different different devices uh, which common peripheral devices keyboard mouse microphone projector monitor speaker scanner printer i don't think so that you people require to understand those things other peripheral devices and their functions are one of these is barcode scanner we people have often seen this in a, a mall or somewhere right uh, where you people have scanned your data right okay so uh, it scan those barcode and 
take the input from that and it will uh, enter a data in a computer right central processing unit so cpu which is known as the brain of computers like our brain so how these all things will happen so once the input has came into cpu the cpu function start doing their work so what are the functions so there are three functions mainly uh, control unit it acts like a receiver and manager of something that or receive all the data and then it will react on that data that uh, where it has to be signed it need to be store it need to be display right so those all things controlled by control unit next is processing unit already we had uh, discussed that processing unit like a mathematical calculations all the mathematical calculation is being done in this processing unit because computer can only understand 0 and 1 right so it can be <coughs> that done in a processing unit memory unit so all the data is been stored in a memory unit now in that yes we have to learn about ram and rom so what do you mean by ram and what do you mean by rom so let's understand ram and rom so very first is a ram so <coughs> What do you mean? What is the full form of RAM? So, so we all know that random access memory, right? And uh, read means uh, read-only memory. So that's the difference and why it required in computer. What is the purpose of that? So RAM, uh, we all know that computer is very fast or processor is very fast, right? Okay. So uh, as we know that computer processor is very fast it calculates so many data once in a time or once in a second so it required lots of data but our computer memory or you can say uh, normal data is being stored on a hard drive but hard drive has certain limitation to pass those data for example uh, in general if i'm talking then your hard drive is transferring able to transfer a data about 20 mbps uh, that might be you have seen in a while you are transferring or copying some data in pen drive that uh, they show showing that uh, data rate as well this much mb is transferring per seconds and something like that but computer required more things so all the data temporary came first in a ram right so ram is a high frequency memory unit which hold the data for temporary and they can transfer those data very fast so <clears throat> it's like a storage cell and ROM means a read only memory which uh, once you uh, store the, all the data it will be uh, it will never erase or you can say permanent RAM is a temporary once you switch off your uh, phone or switch off your computer it will erase those data once one more thing I want to share one of the example uh, let's give the example for RAM and uh, for RAM all right that for example uh, have you seen the older train diesel uh, sorry coal engine railway in which uh, engine has certain limitations for example 120 kilometers per hour but it required that particular amount of coal as well right so RAM is a person right uh, and coal is a data so RAM is a person which uh, put those coal into engine so that train can be moved but uh, you can't put hundreds of people or hundreds of uh, people to put those coal to, because of that engine has certain limitations it can only uh, run 120 km per hour right but a single person who is not able to uh, give those much coal to engine department so that might be engine become a slower so engine is like something ram uh, sorry uh, processor and ram is something like a that coal or a process hole i i hope you people can understand motherboard motherboard also refers as a system board it is the main circuit board inside computer it connect all input and processing output devices so why it's called a motherboard motherboard means you can see a major component is stick on a motherboard that's why it's knowing as a motherboard and storage devices in that 
I don't think so. I have to tell you something more because you people are knowing that compact disc or we known as a CD, uh, USB flash drive or pen drive, DVD, external hard disk. All these are the storage devices. Right now, it has might be a uh, different uh, sizes. So here they are mentioned 500 MB to 2 GB, but you people know that it has more and more devices. Uh, sorry, capacity. Now, what are the representations? So here are the 8 bit makes 1 byte, 120, 1024 bytes make 1 kilobyte or KB. In this vice versa, 1024 KB makes 1 megabyte, 1024 megabytes one make 1 gigabyte or GB, 1024 gigabytes become 1 TB. So this, this all will uh, calculate like this way. Next is ports and connections. So what are the ports? What ports we had seen this computer ports, right? So it's knowing as a universal or USB ports. USB ports, what is the USB? Universal serial bus, right? So it is known as a USB. Now in a phone nowadays, USB type C, you people have seen. There are different different ports which depends on their mechanism. Here you can see USB B, VGA, which is most probably in a computer lab. You can see your computer monitor, HDMI might be this one you find in your uh, smart TV, microphone port. This one might uh, also you can find on a computer, right? Okay, and line out. This is also for speaker. So these all are ports, different ports. And here is Ethernet port, which is also you can find in a computer uh, devices to connect your internet and power cord. This also you will know that. So that's it for in this session. All right, now next let's move on a session five, which is basic computer operations. So in a computer here you can see there is a combination of software and hardware. So computer, hardware and software. Computer system consists of two main parts, the hardware and the software. Physical part that we can see in touch or called hardware and it is machinery of computer. Uh, it might be a computer, CPU, monitor, etc, etc. Software that we can not see but which make hardware work. This is called a software for example operating system right uh, windows 10 windows 7 android that might be we had discussed so many right so this all call a software microsoft word uh, powerpoint working soon on uh, computer it display the desktop on the monitor some of the most commonly used operating system for laptop and desktop are ubuntu all right we had discussed about this Ubuntu is a free and open source software right uh, Microsoft Windows uh, currently Windows 11 are there which is not free right uh, you need to purchase it as well as the Mac OS and Mac OS is not available for purchase because it's only available with the uh, Apple devices or Apple laptops mobile device also have operating system that help to perform some of the functions uh, some of the operating systems are Apple iOS and Google Android already we had discussed right so very first how to starting a computer for that you need to press your computer start button already you people know right okay now let's see the basic uh, functions perform when computer starts so once the computer is going to start what are the basic functions that uh, is going to start so very first once you power on it will activate the BIOS now what what do you mean by BIOS basic input output system this is installed by a manufacturer which activate itself the BIOS first does a self test means it uh, if the self test shows that system is fine the BIOS will load the operating system this means that the computer operating system for the example Ubuntu is now ready to make input in a user so here BIOS will check the all the components if the all the components are completely complete then it will 
fetch the file, first file of operating system and with then you can see after few seconds you will see your operating system desktop either logging screen so if your hardware or something else you got the error then you are not able to see your uh, desktop right okay so you will see a error here they are showing ubuntu we let's discuss about this login and logout we people know once we uh, start the computer in a computer lab you have seen so many computers have a this kind of screen if you set password then you have to enter your password right and log out once you sign out out of that yes this is in a windows if you are using uh, ubuntu so it has this is upper side top right corner and over there log out and shutdown options are there right so how to shut down your computer you people know right in a windows you have to go in start button and over there you will find the shutdown option and in a ubuntu you will get this on a top uh, and in once you click on that setting button over there you will find the shutdown options now using keyboard so a keyboard is input device used to type a text number commands etc it has a function key over here you can see you people already know that yes or no right okay commands navigation keys number key uh, this also navigation key uh, punctuation marks windows key controls key in a control there are control and alter shift keys right okay tab key are uh, these all all are called a uh, control key here it is control key shift space bar alter caps lock tab is all are called a control key function keys means f1 to f12 is known as the function key next is enter that you people know enter key what is the enter key punctuation key so in a punctuation marks you can see so there is a semicolon uh, colon semicolon question mark single quotation marks double quotation marks all are called a punctuation key navigation key so over there home and page up page down these all are called a navigation key command key in that insert delete backspace these all are a command right so these all called a command key windows key which is help to uh, bring your start menu right okay next is using mouse mouse as you can see in a screen here it is you can see a normal left click right click and scroll now roll over hover this you people can moving your uh, all the things just like i am moving my screen point and click so this is called a point and click here it is for example i am pointing and clicking so this is look at my pointer drag and drop so you pick something and drag something right so here i am selecting actually this is a pdf so i am not able to uh, show you that drag and click so this you people know about those all things so i am just assuming that and if you have any doubt or any questions you can ask me right so that's it for this session let's see the uh, next session All right, now let's discuss session six, performing basic file operations. Now, this is also you people know very well familiar, right? What are the basic uh, file operations that we are going to discuss in this chapter? So files and folder, all information stored in a computer kept in a file, different type of file store, different type of information. Each file is given a file name and file extension. So what are the extension? The file name and the file extension are separated by uh, period or a dot for example uh, the with the name of Neha created using notepad you, you will find the dot txt extension in the same way dot doc xls etc dot mp3 dot jpg right so these are called a file and a folder is a locations where all the group of files are, can be stored or you can within a folder you can create a new folder or store a new folder 
right so how can you create a new file so normally in a windows you you just have to double click editor in a in a ubuntu here you can see uh, click on a editor searching bar this is called a search bar and editor so notepad kind of a things will open and in a in a windows here it is my windows screen over there you can simply right click and text document you will get the this uh, new file right now <coughs> here you can create your file this is what we are creating we are created a text file right so this is a text file how you create all right now next session is communication and networking basic of internet so if your uh, computer or device is connected with the internet one word you familiar with while you are opening any website is known as a www so this is called a world wide web one of the method by which your internet connection is going, uh, going to connect now let's see the uses of internet there is no limits to what you can do online uh, since last two years we are doing so much things on our internet searching informations uh, entertainment uh, youtube or uh, games or video or sharing pictures shopping online ticket booking email and chatting online learning social networking online banking right so <clears throat> these all things we we are doing in uh, with the help of internet now what are how can you uh, connect internet a computer right okay a computer device so you require such a thing as a just like in a computer laptop or mobile and second thing is connection device modem internet service provider or a telephone company which provide internet connectivity using phone line or wireless network right so this is your computer laptop this is modem this might be a telephone line might be you have seen these things in your uh, home or somewhere else another way is a wireless by which you can uh, connect your phone network uh, or with the help of phone network you created a uh, connections so in a wire connections where our computer is connected with the internet using wire it is called a wire connection in the same way wireless connection you can also connect your computer to the internet using wireless technology wireless means uh, without any wires right now next is a bandwidth what do you mean by bandwidth bandwidth is amount of data that can be transmitted over network in a certain amount of time for example one of the wire can capable to send a 100 mb data so this is called a bandwidth of 100 mb right to understand bandwidth let us take an example of pipe the amount of water flowing through the pipe depends on the thickness similarly the amount of data that you your network can receive or send despite on a bandwidth depends on a bandwidth so suppose uh, you at your home you have one on a terrace you might have one tank of water with that uh, so many pipe are connected so if you have a bigger pipe so that water flow is going to in a large amount if you have a smaller or thinner pipe that water flow it might be uh, less right so uh, data bandwidth is also in the same way now next is internet browser so, uh, <clears throat> this also you people are know right so there are some of the example of uh, browser google chrome mozilla firefox internet explorer opera mini safari and so many so so many so searching for information normally what we are doing we are uh, writing such a things in a search box and that search box is presenting by some of the search engine over here it is showing a Bing search engine data uh, Google Bing is the majorly search engine right search result have the required the information will be displayed so in a Firefox it will show it right okay uh, in a Ubuntu uh, default browser is a Firefox and in a Firefox you will get the boxes or in an address bar you type something and it will showing you the result i hope you are getting in this session also
now next session is communication and networking internet browsing so in that uh, world wide web yes we had already discussed about or we uh, have just discussed a world wide web simply a web is a huge connection of information is shown symbolically in figure here right you can see is the vast network link hypertext file store a computer throughout the world that can provide connected uh, computer use with uh, in information on a huge variety of subject world wide web web means connected with each other or world wide uh, world wide means uh, all the computers in a com uh, world that are connected through internet is connected in a such a way that create a web now once you want to search something you require a web page or web browser right and a system to transfer information between the web browser and a web page now what do you mean by web page web page means a website a group of web page become a website so web page is a document present on a computer that is connected to internet there are hundreds of web pages each web page have a unique address locations like address of home we can use the address to see particular web page for example the address of ncrt is ncrtnic.in right next is web browser you require web browser to open particular uh, web pages here are the some of the examples mozilla firefox google chrome internet explorer apple safari opera nowadays internet explorer is going to be discontinued by microsoft it is actually a product of microsoft this one is a product of apple instead of this which internet uh, sorry which browser they are introduced uh, you have to tell me in a class right okay so this is the questions and by this i will came to know that whether you are uh, listening my video or listening so uh, this video this is my question in this video so you have to tell me in a class which web browser uh, microsoft has introduced instead of a internet explorer now while we are browsing so there are so many things uh, the very first is hyperlink hyperlinks means what a hyperlink is a link which connect a different pages in a web page right so let's see important parts of a web browser over here you can see a different different pages a very first is address bar where you can put addresses second tab browsing different tabs you open next is back and forward button here it is a back and forward button right here they are showing you some of the shortcuts but it might be not working accurately on all browser right you have to just see see that refresh the button you want to refresh those all websites right and uh, steps to browse a web page open your browser just enter if you have a web, web website address then just simply type down over here or you can open a google and search those things right and press enter i hope you you people know this all things but are you getting in this session now next is communication and networking introduce introduction to email we people know that what do you mean by email we had used that right we had sent so many mails to our teacher e what is the full form of email email stands for electronic mail is a message sent over the internet from one person to another uh, with the help of internet or electronical devices how does email works file containing video document spreadsheet etc can be sent along with the email attachment that you have sent so many mail to your teachers right so how how those uh, let's very first comparing our postal mail versus email so in a normal you have to write all the address you in an email you have to write the just a mail address uh, in normal and uh, later or a postal mail you have to write by hand in a in a computer or email you have to write it digitally this all uh, postal mail goes through physically while email going to in a digital so here are the example receiver in a letter box or a gmail inbox right email id or address normally there are general format of email address is local part at the rate domain 
so for example here it is they they have given ashok uh, ashok rastogi underscore one at the rate gmail now gmail.com is a domain right an email address is made up of two parts separated by the at the rate symbol the pa, uh, before the at the rate symbol is created user and usually at the name of person for example as uh, ashok rastogi the this is a different for every user so we people know that uh, if if you have a similar name for example my name is indrajit so i'm if someone has already taken those name so i'm not able to create those same email id might be you are facing that while creating a new email address and at the rate symbol domain of email server provider for example gmail.com is a domain name of google gmail by google outlook.com is by microsoft and yahoo code.in by yahoo now here are the advantages of email email can be sent multiple user along with the attachment they are fast as they reach anyone around the world immediately free as most service do not change charge money uh, it is environment friendly as well and has no paper use so these are the advantages this is how email address is working right now next session is communication and networking creating an email account for that you consider so many uh, email address which are free of cost uh, majorly we are using gmail due to android system because of it is run by google and by default it has a gmail account we need to create another is outlook uh, which is run by microsoft yahoo mail which is run by mail uh, yahoo inbox.com many more many many more are there now how can you create a email account so we are here seeing a gmail account creation process normally you people know these things but again we are saying uh, okay uh, we are just moving this things in a fast forward very first you have to go in a gmail second you have to uh, click on a create and over there you have to fill those form your name your you have to create a password you have to create a password in a su such a way which include a special character as well right okay uh, you have to fill up some of the detail like birthday gender and many more uh, you have to fill nowadays they are adding a mobile number as well then you have to click next and good to go uh, once you create your gmail you will see this kind of symbols right now here we are including next session as well so let's see so communication and networking writing an email address that is also you people know once you sign in here it is a sign in options right uh, you have to uh, you are in a your mailbox and in that you have to select this compose nowadays uh, gmail in a mobile gmail give you some of a plus sign kind of a things right once you open that you will see some of a box in that you have to uh, fill those mail id two section right so uh, for example to whoever uh, you want to send those file you have to write down those those email address now cc means carbon copy the same things you want to send someone other subjects subject means whatever the subject of your mail and main body in which you will uh, uh writing your mail part look at here this is a email address to here is not cc mention your mail uh, main body and here is the send button right okay so in this way you can send your mail now attaching file this is also you people know this is a attaching symbol by which you can attach your file right you already have those now managing folders in that you will find inbox and draft junk spam and trash inbox hold all email those you are getting from different uh, people or your whatever the mail you receive you will find in an inbox send whatever the send you uh, mail you have sent uh, that all will uh, displayed over here draft means uh, such a email that you have started writing but not yet had sent uh, or incomplete mail will be displayed in a draft next is junk or spam 
folder hold email address that may not be useful or might be a virus is or some dangerous and trash is kind of a recycle bin where your all deleted uh, email address can be hold and this is the second question yes how many days your mail can be keep in your uh, trash folder of a gmail right this thing you have to find out right okay so this is the second question you have to tell me in class all right now next session is receiving email uh, that also you people know in a gmail here once you receive your mail you will get in your inbox all inbox mail are there for example this one so once you click on that you will uh, see the mail detail in that you you will uh, you will see a uh, many options like reply reply to all and forward right before that we will see that uh, if you are you have open an email it become a normal font and if that mail is not open so it remain in a bold for example this one right okay so this this is not open yet so it it remain in a bold right and this one is open already so it it become a normal font right uh, reply to an email by replying you can simply click on reply or reply to all if you have more than one person with this mail so you can reply to all now the same thing you want to forward to someone so over there there is an options called a forward right okay here it is so you can forward it to a particular person just you have to enter those uh, credential or email address right and lastly a deleting email which is a delete mail these all things you people already know right so this is it for this chapter i hope you people are getting right and if you have any doubt if you have any question you can feel free to come me and ask me your questions right okay thank you everyone have a nice day